If President Trump described the Trans-Pacific Partnership as the worst trade deal in history, then why is 57% of his renegotiated NAFTA agreement copied from the TPP? We'll discuss this factoid in this episode of Analysis Behind the News, where we provide the perspective that you can use to help save American liberty and independence. The New American published an online article reporting that researchers from the University of Ottawa find that 57% of the USMCA, or United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement, is copied from the TPP. Yet, where else have you heard about this? This study was published at the end of June. The NewAmerican.com was alerted to it by the Morning Trade newsletter published by Politico. And we found the complete text of the study tucked away on the website of the American Chamber of Commerce, Vietnam. You can access it at amchamvietnam.com. As our article from the New American reports, comparing the USMCA to existing free trade agreements, researchers found, quote, the USMCA closely tracks the structure and text of the TPP. 29 out of 30 TPP chapters have equivalents in the USMCA and 72% of the articles in the matched USMCA chapters are found in both agreements, end quote. In other words, not only are many of the chapter titles identical, but so are the various articles and clauses contained in them. Quoting the study once again, quote, Furthermore, when looked at in the context of all U.S. trade agreements, the USMCA and TPP, based on their textual similarity, appear as belonging to the same generation of treaties. In other words, the USMCA, contrary to Trump's rhetoric, does not mark a fundamental rupture in U.S. practice and has more in common with the TPP then not, end quote, the study stated. Now folks, if that's not causing the alarm bells to go off, consider that the study also found that there was between 40 and 43% textual similarity found between the USMCA and nine other free trade agreements written and signed in the last 25 years. As the New American concludes, in other words, the USMCA could have easily come out of the administrations of Barack Obama, George W. Bush, or Bill Clinton, with only negligible differences. In fact, others, including former Obama-era high-ranking officials, have noted the striking similarity between the TPP and the USMCA. And folks, we can discuss all we want about Trump's reasoning behind this, whether or not he has read the agreement, or if he knows that the globalists are using this to their advantage, or if Trump is even a party to all this. What's important is that we recognize the globalist plan to shackle American independence through layer upon layer of regional bureaucracy, much like they are doing around the globe, and how they have built up the European Union. When we see these agreements as the globalist tool that they are, then we can judge all trade agreements based on how it will affect American sovereignty, independence, and our God-given liberties. When it comes to protecting American sovereignty, we must jealously guard it, no matter who is in the White House. In the immortal words of President George Washington, it is our true policy to steer clear of permanent alliance with any portion of the foreign world. And President Thomas Jefferson echoed that same sentiment by saying, peace, commerce, and honest friendship with all nations, entangling alliances with none. So we'd like you to please tell Congress and President Trump, no entangling alliances, stop the USMCA. Call and then follow up with an email today to help create enough pressure to stop the USMCA in its track. Links are in the description. And please, be sure to visit our Stop the USMCA Action page 
for additional videos and tools you can use to help spread the word. And of course, please be sure to like and share this video as well as subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you then.